if you've only got one thing to hold on to and you're trying to stand up and do something, make sure you've always got the crutch or your hand on your amputated side. The reason for that is you're still adjusting to the balance of losing the limb. And if you're going to fall, you'll fall that way. You won't fall that way. So always have your hand on a crutch on the side of your amputated limb. If you're doing something which involves you twisting, twist on the ball of your foot. That way you're nice to your knee. It is not good to leave your foot planted and turn the rest of you. It's jarring your knee joint and you need to be nice to your knee joint, especially in the leg you've still got left. When you've only got one leg, make sure all your socks are the same. Now, if you haven't got a prosthetic, it means you never have to pair your socks. And if you do have a prosthetic, it means one sock stays on the prosthetic limb and you change the other one on the foot you've still got. They're always matching, even when you change your socks because you're washing them. Now, it doesn't really matter what you wear when you've got a, only got one leg or if you've got a prosthetic leg, but when you are visiting the limb center, you wanna consider what you're wearing. So I've got reasonably tight trousers on at the moment with an ankle cuff, which would be absolutely no use if you're constantly having to change the limb. So what I've gone with is a three quarter length pair of trousers that are quite wide at the bottom. So that means that I don't have to roll them up very far to get to the top of the limb and I can take it on and off really easily without having to take my trousers off. Have you ever considered how hard it is to do a pistol squat? What that is, is standing up and sitting down just using one leg. Now I've got arms on my wheelchair, but you might not always be sitting in a chair that's got arms. So you need to have a strong leg in your remaining leg to be able to stand up. If not, you at least need to have strong arms so that you can propel yourself up with your arms. Get a massage. Now, trust me, you're going to need one because your muscles will be working in different ways to how they have worked before. If you are an upper up leg amputee, you have lost more muscle than a lower leg amputee and you've lost part of your quad, which is your second biggest muscle group. So you're going to have to strengthen everything else and you're going to be using a wheelchair. So your arms are going to be doing more exercise than ever. Now, I'm a swimmer and a personal trainer, but man, my shoulders from using a wheelchair, it is just different. So get a massage. It will help you recover faster and keep you moving. Get a good pair of crutches. Now you're gonna need them, even if it's only here and there, and you're gonna need them to be good because you're only standing on one leg, so your crutches are being your other leg. Now my crutches are side sticks, which is the brand of crutches. Now, if you notice, they've got a side opening on the arm, on the elbow here, rather than the front. What that allows me to do is lift my arm up to put the key in the door or pick up something or whatever, and the crutch doesn't fall off my arm. They've also got an ergonomic hand grip on the handle, and I have walked many, many kilometers in these and they've never given me blisters. They are carbon fiber, which makes them really strong. And they have got ankles. So I don't know if you can see that, but they bend at the bottom and twist, which means when I plant them on the floor and walk forwards, they don't slip. I can turn and they don't slip. They come with off-road shoes. They come with tornado tips, which are the regular bottoms you would normally see on crutches, and snowshoes, and all sorts of things can be added onto the bottom of here. 
depending on the surface you're walking on. Stay fit and stay active, even in the recovery phase. When you get to the prosthetic limb part, if you're a below the knee amputee, it will take you four times more energy to walk with a prosthetic leg than it would have before. If you are an above the knee amputee, it will take you eight times more energy than it would have before. If you've had a hip disarticulation, well, that's a whole different story. So the reason you need to stay fit is because you're going to need it later. And the reason that it, co it costs you more energy because of the amount of muscle that you lose from the limb. Use a rucksack. Now I'm talking about any time. Now I changed my handbag, which used to be just a sling over the shoulder bag for a rucksack. And at the moment I put it on the back of the wheelchair. And when I'm standing up on two feet, or crutches or whatever, I will then put it on my back because I'm going to need my hands free more than ever. When I go to work, that rucksack changes to a backpack with a laptop in it. And that goes on the back of my wheelchair so that I've still got two hands free to propel myself forwards. So make sure you're not carrying anything with your hands. Get a rucksack. And keep smiling. There is nothing you can do about this to change it. Your leg is not going to grow back. This is your life. And life is short. So make the best of what you've got left. Set yourself high goals. There is nothing that you cannot do. Your biggest barrier is yourself. <laughs>